In this video, you'll see vertical copper pipe soldering tips. This can be a little bit tricky for beginners, but I'm going to give you a bunch of tips that'll make soldering vertical copper pipes much easier and safer inside walls. First step is to use 120 grit emery cloth and clean the copper pipe. Then I use a nylon grit pad. This one is from Odie. This makes the copper pipe shine and really cleans it well. The next step, and this is important, is to deburr the inside of the copper pipe. This is a rigid reamer. This deburrs both the inside and the outside of the copper pipe. So you wanna do maybe like 10 to 15 revolutions both times. Then I hit that one more time with the nylon grip pad. That really just removes any of the burrs on there. Then I recommend using OD H2O Water Soluble Flux. I mix that up really well in case the salts settle to the bottom of the container. And the reason why I like this is you can use it and you don't have to flush out your system unlike with other flux. So then what I do is apply a thin layer of that to the pipe. You don't need a ton of the flux, just a little bit to make sure that it's on the pipe and the solder will flow upward. Then I actually use a wire brush on the inside of the fitting. This is just a coupling. So I use the wire brush on both sides to make sure it's scuffed up and apply again a very thin layer of the flux inside the coupling. You don't need a ton of flux, you just need enough such that the solder will flow upward due to capillary action. Then I put the coupling on the pipe, and this tip is really helpful if you want a clean solder joint. Clean all of the flux off of the pipe and any of it that got onto the fitting. That's gonna help you a lot in terms of getting a professional look. Now for the other pipe, you do the exact same thing. You wanna deburr the inside, deburr the outside, and then make sure that you inspect it for any burrs, clean that with emery cloth, and then apply your flux to that pipe as well. Once again, you don't need a ton of flux, just a little thin layer. Then you can push that pipe down into the coupling and then remove all the excess flux from the surface. The next step is to use OD Safe Flow Lead-Free Solder. You can get this at pretty much any home store. Create a little hook on it, like a half inch hook, if you're soldering half inch pipe. The general game plan is to start by preheating the pipe heating the coupling, and then by the time you get to the top, you're not really gonna have to apply a lot of heat at all. So I also like using a flame protector pad. I put that inside the wall. I'm using a striker here to start up my torch. This is a mag torch, and I like it because you can adjust the flame, and that'll help you keep things nice and safe if you're soldering inside a wall. So the flame is only about an inch and three quarters. So I'm preheating the first half of the pipe, then the coupling, I don't need to apply a ton of heat, obviously, because we're inside the wall, we wanna keep things safe. You just touch the solder to the joint until it starts to melt. Once it starts to melt, you can pull the heat because you heated the bottom, the heat rises to the top, and you don't have to heat the top too much. Then remove all the excess flux that remains on the pipe, and you can even clean that up a little bit using the nylon grit pad. These tips will help you solder vertical copper pipes and get great results. If you like the tips, give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for future tutorials.